Asana and Rupert Grant. Good morning. Nice Hi. to see you all. How exhausted are you? I mean, you've had pretty much of a whirlwind, well, gosh, a whirlwind year, but the past couple of weeks have been really crazy. What have you guys been up to? Um, we saw the premiere on Sunday. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was really nerve-wracking. It was? <laughs> yeah, it was you know, I, I, I actually talked to Dan Ratcliffe, who plays Harry in the movie, about that. I said, we're, and he said he was nervous. What was it? What, what made you nervous about the premiere? So many people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, all the press, the people that were going, um, the cameras, the flashing. It was just <sighs> scary. It was. Did yeah. a lot of people stop you and ask you for your autographs? Yes. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. Now, yeah. Th at the New York premiere, you Rupert saw the movie for the fourth time, and Emma, you saw it for the third time, right? Because you also yeah. went to the London premiere. I did. Which was yeah. about a week ago. All right. In your very objective way, I'm sure you won't be. But tell me what you think of the film. Was it when you saw the movie put together? Was it what you expected it would be? Exactly. I, I feel like they've kind of just like taken a piece of my mind out from the book and just used it on the film because it's exactly as I imagined it. I, I mean, I, I suppose every actress when they like, see themselves on screen, they're like, oh, they cut out my best lines, or oh, I look so bad in that scene, or oh, my head looks disastrous. <laughs> but I think everyone says that. So I'm very self-critical, but altogether, I just love the film. It's it's, it's amazing. And, and and but you were a little critical of your own performance at times. Yeah, I suppose every actress is. It's it's. Yeah, it just sort of yeah, goes so with the territory. What about, <laughs> what about you, Rupert, when you first saw the movie? I mean, because obviously you guys shot it over a period of nine months in bits and pieces. Lots of the shooting was done with uh, with a green screen shh, because of special effects, <laughs> right? <laughs> and uh, when you saw what they had done with it, with the music, with the editing and all that, what did you think? It was so cool. Yeah? Really wicked, yeah. Wicked, that's your favorite word, isn't it, Rupert? Yes, what, was, yeah. there, was there anything different about the movie or anything that surprised you when you saw it all put together? Um, some of the special effects that we hadn't seen when we were filming it, they were in. That was really, really wicked. Yeah, now I know that you all um, had not had a lot of acting experience. I guess Rupert had a little more than you, Emma, when you got these roles. And... Uh, it, it was probably a little intimidating to work with someone like Chris Columbus. Um, tell me about your working relationship with him because he had a lot of kids to contend with. Um, did you enjoy it and, and how would you describe him as a director? One, two, three, he was just so supportive and nice. Yeah, he's, however, however much under pre pressure we were to get a scene done or whatever, he always had a smile on his face and he's really good at working with children and he really got us into the moment and he made us feel really, really comfortable. He's a great director. Was he ever really demanding of you, Rupert? I mean, did you ever think, ah, I can't believe I got myself into this? Or for the most part, was he pretty patient? Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was really patient. Because you guys are shooting the second movie already. Haven't you started filming the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets? Yeah, um, me and Dan have just been doing, like, the flying car bit. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm starting in December, so I'm really... You're, oh, so you that. haven't started yet. No, I haven't. But, um, How do you all do this and keep up with your schoolwork? I know that you have tutoring on the set, but you only do, what, how many hours of tutoring a day? Three hours at the minimum and five hours at the max. Yeah, and we don't get any homework, which is really cool. Yeah, I bet that's okay. great. Yeah. But is it hard to keep up with your work? I mean, while you're, because you must be exhausted doing all your acting and, and taking part in this movie. Is it is it tough to stay on top of your studies? Um, no, we fi I, well, I find it. Um, quite easy because to keep up because it's like one to one and I think you learn more because there's not many distractions. Yeah. Right, and you really have to focus. Yeah, yeah it's, it's one to one so even though we do like half the amount that we would do in a normal school day, you get just as much work done because it's one to one and when you're in a class, you know, it takes a lot longer. Well, in the movie, you all are obviously fast friends, along with Dan Radcliffe, <laughs> Harry yeah. Potter. And we've got a scene from the movie where you are um, actually working on perfecting your magic skills with a feather. Let's take a look. <laughs> One of the wizard's most rudimentary skills is levitation, or the ability to make objects fly. Wingardium Leviosa. Off you go, then. Wingardium, Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Stop, stop, stop. You're going to take someone's eye out. The 
Besides, you're saying it wrong. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. You do it, then, if you're so clever. Go on, go on. Guardian Leviosa. You go, girl. That Hermione is such a know-it-all, though, isn't she, Emma? <laughs> yeah. you, you, I know, have said before that you're not like her at all, that, that uh, sh you and Hermione are actually complete opposites. Um, pretty much. Um, I reckon that Hermione is, is pretty bossy, pretty swatty, pretty teacher's pet. And I enjoy school, but I'm not obsessed with school. That's kind of the difference between us. And she <laughs> is obsessed with everything she's learning at Hogwarts. Yeah. Meanwhile, Rupert, I know you and Ron Weasley have a lot in common. Tell me about that. Um, when, when I was reading the books, I always felt I could relate to Ron because we both got red hair, both like sweets. Um, we both got lots of brothers and sisters. I have one brother and three sisters, and we're both scared of spiders. And I know that you really wanted to play Ron because he may be a little wimpy at first, but oh. he really uh, pulls through when, when they need him to. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Doesn't he? The chess scene. Yeah, that was kind of like Ron's turn in the limelight, yeah. Now, but what I also wanted to ask you about the special effects, as I, as you all said, that some of the scenes you saw, you didn't realize what they would look like. Tell me about flying, as we look at a little video, or a little bit of the film, of you all flying. Was that, and that probably wasn't nearly as much fun as it appeared to be in the movie, right? <laughs> um, oh, especially that part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you, I mean, was it it's tough like, to do all these special effects? I and to mount yeah, you just, um, when, when you're um, doing the flying or like the close or so whatever, you, it, that's the big part of acting because there's nothing there. You're kind of like talking to nothing. It's like, hi, how are you? You have to use your imagination. Yeah. yeah. Well, Emma and Rupert, thanks so much for coming by. Best of luck with Harry Potter. Good to see you.